Hey guys, just sitting here messing around with Unreal 4 again. And you know, I figure I should do a video on morph targets. Because I know it took me forever to figure this out because there's no decent videos out there on this. It's not that bad to do. As far as learning it, it's really not that hard either. It's just that no one does videos on it. You know, I searched forever on YouTube. Couldn't find out what I wanted. But, I decided, since I figured out, I'm going to do a tutorial on it. So let's say if your character has body morphs or something like that. Or if you just want her to just smile for no reason. Outside of an animation, you know, it's easy to add it to animations. But if you're not doing an animation... You know, if you just want to do it during runtime, then this is what you do. You know, it took me a while to figure this out. So what I'm going to do is, well, I'm not going to add a game, a mapping thing to it, because you can easily add it to any function anywhere. So I'm just going to do a, uh, an event keyboard. Let's just say Y button. Alright, so Y button. So when you're playing the game, let's say whatever your morph target is, you do have to have the exact name or else it's not going to work. But a lot of you, you know, if you're using Daz characters or something, you know, you can quite easily, you, know, you can bring in your characters with all morph targets by name. Character creator <laughs> is a little bit more difficult. In fact, there's a workaround on that, and I do have a previous video for that, if you're really interested in that. But you do have to have iClone 7. So a character creator is not cheap. Devs, everything's free. But, alright, so let's say you have a morph target that you really want to use. Alright, so we created our, our Y button. Event Y. Pretty soon you press the Y button on the keyboard. Boom, it's going to trigger this. So what you do is, let's say set, oop, morph, and I spelled it wrong, target, mesh. Set morph target name, you do have to have the exact name. I'm going to use my particular one. For this example, value is 1, and I really do not know what this means when it says remove 0 widget. I always just leave it checked. Never had a problem with that. I don't, I don't even know what that means. So, compile. Let's press play and see what happens. around and press Y boom okay so let's say that you don't want things to be sudden right you want things to go over time or you want it to go slowly so what you do is you add timeline I shall call it pretty much the name of my morph target but go from and then you want to switch it to play to play it from start okay Oop. so now you want to click on this see it's completely open and it's like oh my god what do I do alright well you go over here to F plus that means add flow track and then scroll down your wheel Actually, set your time frame up here. I'm going to set it to uh, three seconds. And why is that not? There we go. I don't know why it wasn't changing. All right, so we got zero, minus one, plus one. I mean, if you scroll up, I mean, you can, you can change stuff astronomically here. I'm going to go zero, plus one. So we want to start off at zero, right? So we added our our little keyframe. Right click on it, set it to auto because that's going to make it just smoother. 
Go to the end, which for me is three seconds. You can have five seconds, ten seconds. You can have three minutes, five minutes, ten minutes. It doesn't matter. However fast you want it to happen. You know, if you want something that's going to happen over the course of, say, a half hour, then, you know, go... Well, how much would that be in seconds? Anyways, you know what I'm getting at. So yeah, so now we got a zero to three seconds slowly going up on a float. Here, three seconds, or I hit compile. And then go back to the event graph. And instead of value 1.0, we want to go new track zero to that. So now that's connected, so now the time frame is actually going to set the curve for how slowly it comes up. Hit compile. So this is all very simple and I did so many more difficult workarounds on this prior before I figured this out. Because I could not find decent information on it on YouTube. Or even on Google for that matter. It's like no one tell you anything about morph targets. So now, and bring it back around, and now I press Y. And as you can see, it happens slowly. Now, of course, I can always do the exact opposite by pretty much copying the whole thing, just changing the key, and going from zero to one, and going from one to zero. Set morph target thing, thing, plug it in. However you need to do it. But that's how you do this. It's actually a lot more easier than it seems like. Because no one has information out there on this. It's so hard to find it. I had to keep playing around with it for like days and days on end before I finally figured it out. And then I was like, oh my God, it's so freaking easy. So that's how you do that. I'm going to go ahead and delete this so I don't accidentally leave it in my character. But, yeah. That's kind of... Oh, okay. So I have something disconnected. But that's all there is to it. There's not that much to it. And I... I wouldn't mind going into more detail with a lot of other stuff, but, you know, hey, if you guys find this stuff interesting and it helps you, let me know, because I'm all about the odd side of Unreal. The stuff that no one else is doing the regular videos on. So, hope to help you out. You know, if you're looking for morph target stuff, I really hope this pops up in the search for you. Because... God knows it took me forever to figure it out because no one has any decent info. So, y'all have a good one. Oh, and Happy New Year. I hope y'all had a happy Christmas. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.